Hello everyone. Remember this bag? I got it from Mary this summer, uh, among many other wonderful gifts. Um, so let's just start right in with this grocery haul. I've got a hash brown potato patties by Linden Farms. Not much to say about them, except they're full of all kinds of preservatives. This is not a health food trip. Grocery outlet is a store that just carries whatever they can get um, under contract for just the things that are either discontinued or just whatever deal they can get. Bean and Cheese Burritos by El Monterey. 1964. No artificial flavors. Protein made with real. Well, let me tell you, this is just a really not a healthy snack or meal. But I love them. So. Okay. And I also got these things that I have never seen before. They're so different from Mexico. It's con crema, like a dessert, uh, ice cream dessert, ice helados, Mexico, con crema. Yeah, so there's cinnamon in it, and that's going to have an interesting taste. So I'm looking forward to trying those. look creamy, but maybe they are. Now this next thing is very interesting. I've heard of it from Mukbang. Moki ice cream. Ice cream wrapped in sweet rice dough. And it's passion fruit flavor what I got. And yeah, so called Mika Mikaea, 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 I can't tell what that is. I'm just curious about it because I've seen it on these mukbang. Alright, so of course I need to get my organic California style blend. Broccoli, carrot, and cauliflower mix. It's good for stir fry or for soups. Excellent source of vitamin C. Hmm. Let me move this to the back because I need more room. I've got another bag to bring up here. This was really, actually, really. and stuff. I was glad that I have that with me. Now this is Tombstone Pizza and I've had this many times before. Bold, full on flavor, spicy Italian. Has Italian sausage and pepperoni and it's gonna be spicy. But I do love Tombstone and I got two of these. It's 
etc. Oh, it's just cheese, guys. It's just cheese. <laughs> okay. But it is interesting to see, you know, these different brands. Now this, I've never heard of Captain Jack, and so I'm willing to give it a try. I usually get the uh, Kroger brand when I was in Tennessee. Now, hmm, I'll be on the search for a reasonable um, tasting imitation crab. I mean, it said it had some real crab in it, but I don't know. Sliced roast beef, premium deli quality, fully cooked after cooking. Caramel color. That's none of that's important. Actually, none of that's important. There's actually not much to share with you except what you can see. Bar M. I hope it's good. This I know is going to be good. Columbus brand Italian dry salami. California red wine. It has California red wine in it. That's interesting. Okay, it says here since 1917 we have pursued our passion for craft meets with a deep respect for our San Francisco heritage and a commitment to making great meat. And so it has oh uh, wines you can have with it that work with that flavor. No artificial colors. Pretty nice. To go with that and I got some provolone cheese, which really goes well with salami. It's an Italian type of flavor. Provolone, non-smoked. <laughs> that is so small, I can't even read that, you guys. Not even to help you. <laughs> it's Wisconsin. I was just looking for a bit more information to share with you, but it's pretty straightforward. Expiration date, I think, there. Looks good. I'm gonna have some Italian sandwiches. And this is going to go really good on crackers. I love that it's sliced. It's great. Not much to say about that either, except it's also Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is famous for their cheese. More Wisconsin. Ah, oh, sharp cheddar. Not much to say about that, but I did get two of them. Well, I did talk to one lady that said that a lot of people like to go there for their cheese because they get a, good, a lot of good stuff. Okay, I just had to get some of this. This is Wilmar meat, ground beef. No idea. Quality. It's made in Los Angeles. Minimum of... That's not important either. See that I got an equal amount of fat to meat ratio. 
ratio in there daily sharing is carrying fruit nonsense <laughs> okay there's not much to tell you about most of what I'm getting here today it's just kind of showing you name brands that I've never really seen before uh, before I moved to Susanville the burritos. You can get uh, El Monterey uh, uh, burritos uh, anywhere in the U.S. All right, now we're on the other counter because I need it more room. See what we've got. Yes, yes, some tomatoes, and these are the um, Roma tomatoes. Yes, veg fresh. It says resealable bag. Product of the USA. That's all it says. See, so I like that. Hopefully that'll work. Sometimes they just break. Of the tomatoes, and what else did I get here? Oh my goodness, you guys, I couldn't resist the cheesecake. It's got the four different kinds. Look at the list of ingredients there, that is insane. Calories are 400 for two slices. And we have chocolate marble, strawberry, swirl, brownie, and then there's the New York style. Look at all. Ooh, can't wait to try that. Oh, of course, I have to have my sour cream. And Daisy's the only brand I and you can get that all over the U.S. Uh, sour cream. If it doesn't say all natural pure sour cream, it has a weird taste. Okay, California's big on cage-free eggs, and it's amazing how many you can find. California is good. And um, it, it's reasonably priced. And they're pretty, and I'm really, I mean, that's one little positive about the groceries here in California. The produce and everything is pretty quality. So, I've got two 18 count because we do eat a lot of eggs. This bag folded up. Let's show you what's in there. Trader Joe's bag. And I'm gonna put that over there. Get the eggs out of the way. I got these apples. No, I would never eat this many apples in a week, or even two or three. Fortunately, apples last a long time. Not much to say, except I think it comes from out of the country and I am going to feed some of these to the deer that come into my backyard. The deer definitely prefer the bird seed to the apples, but that's okay. Let's see, this is the rustic oven. Seeds. Yeah, 
and we'll see if we like it. Alrighty, good old crystal milk now that I'm familiar with, and they had some here, but their dates are a little bit later because that's what they can get. I mean earlier. It expires sooner. Alright, sunflower seeds roasted and salted. Let's see. It's pretty straightforward here. Natural cravings. I'll tell you what I'm just enjoying the most is the crackle of this bag. And there's nothing in it that's... It's very nice product. Very, very nice. I've never seen a company say that you should refrigerate after opening. Source of fiber, rich in vitamin E. Mm. Well, I think I might put that in the refrigerator after I open it. Alrighty, now I have their maple syrup is called the Maple Syrup Company. 100% pure maple. Grade A dark rope. And that's from Lapierre Maple Farm. Product of Canada. Okay. Well, Canada makes good syrup because they have beautiful maple trees too. Now, this is interesting. Wait till I show you. Yo Mama's Velvety Vodka. It's a marinara sauce. Tomato sauce. All natural. No sugar added. Gluten free. Food company. Yo Mama's Velvety Vodka is handcrafted in small batches with 100% Imported Parmesan cheese, fresh tomatoes, and a splash of vodka. Lovingly made in small batches. Our mama approved recipe is keto certified. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. The ingredients are fresh tomatoes, onions, white wine, Parmesan cheese, vodka, basil, oregano, salt. All the ingredients are listed there. Of course, they don't give you the amounts of each kind, so you don't know how to make it yourself. So, we have just one more bag after this. Let's get this bolted up and out of the way. Sunflower seeds out of the way here. Make room for the bread. Alright, now this, I've had Milton's before, but it looked hefty. The original healthy multigrain bread, no high fructose. So, I don't know. It says that. Proud to be different. Starting out as a local bakery in San Diego, California, we don't believe that healthy food has to be bland and boring. Instead, we make a nutritious baked bread, surprisingly delicious. Our original.
original healthy multigrain bread was the first bread we ever sold. Today our famous recipe is made with the same wholesome goodness as our very first loaf baked with wheat, corn, brown rice, and oats. You'll enjoy the hearty texture of grains and subtly sweet flavor of honey. We hope you enjoy Milton's breads as much as we love baking them. We invite you to try it. Okay, good for me. Next up is this San Luis sourdough, and I've been buying that ever since I got to Susanville. It is so good, and I get the craft wheat kind. Um, doesn't say a whole lot. Let me read this. Bring back the crunchy crust. San Luis sourdough bread originates from San Luis Obispo, a small located, located on the central coast of California. It takes nearly 30 hours to create a loaf of San Luis bread. So, flavor. Did you know each variety of San Luis bread has its own signature? Well, that is very, very interesting. I love this bread. They score each loaf. Wow. Okay, well, I cannot recommend enough this sourdough bread. It's so good toasted with butter. I got some celery. Tim, Tanamira, and Tol. I don't know what that means. Says it's employee owned and family farm. That's fun. Let's take a look at the quality of this. Looks really good to me. Sometimes you kind of second guess the things that come from a discount grocery store, but they have just really, really good things at grocery outlet. It just says. Salinas. Okay, USA Salinas. It is grown and distributed in California. Okay, Master's Touch. Fine, sweet taste. The sunshine flavors. I just absolutely love peppers. Says it's distributed by Master's Touch. Can't even read that writing, it's so tiny. But don't they look just beautiful and appetizing? I love this, it's so gorgeous. What's that say? Same thing, Master's Touch. Doesn't tell you where it's from. USA. Three hearts of romaine. Packing company. Do, 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 do. Salinas again. You guys, that's um, really a big part of our um, growing food growing community in uh, California. Salinas. Been there. Wash people are serving field brush. There's nothing to it. And they're clean. They're very clean. More lettuce. Nice big head of the iceberg from Pacific. From the fields. Oh. Let's find out where it's from. Looks like Salinas again. Pull that out a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so 
Salinas, there it is. Yeah, so that's where a lot of their produce comes from, I see. Okay, I could not miss this list, you guys. Guitar and Company, San Francisco, free from 14 allergens, dairy, soy, peanuts, tree nuts. I can't even imagine there being 14 things that people are allergic to. There's 46% cacao. Oh, wow. Established 1868. That's a long time ago. San Francisco's secret. Cultivate better. Well. Good. They got a couple of really good recipes. Colossal cookies. Ooh, I want to try that. Um, isn't this just a beautiful package, though? Look at this gold. So insanely pretty. Looks Christmassy. But Christmas is over. Condensata Azucarada Azucarada Okay Now see, I don't know anything about Nestle, but milk in this is reusable. I mean, not reusable, but you can put it in the refrigerator and use it again. Use as a topping. Look at all these things you can do. They suggest putting it on your pancakes. Stir it into drinks. Wow. That is so... I just never thought about sweetened condensed milk before, before I made the, um... Brownies. Not brownies, but... So last but not least is a chocolate bar. Nut buttered, nut butter filled cashew butter. Alright, so it says it's organic, grass fed, no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohol, so no erythritol. It says it's time to get back to the way humans ate before industry, probably made with grass fed milk. Organic, unrefined coconut sugar, oh, organic cocoa. Allergy statement and everything, it's just like super hyper healthy, I guess. But I have to try this, I've got to try this right now. But I won't make any mucky eating sounds. You know what I think of this one thing? This package isn't the easiest thing to get into now, is it? Very well wrapped. Let me show you. Snap it open. It's filled. That is so good, you guys. Well, all right. Well, I am going to fold up this pack, and that concludes our shopping haul and the unusual things that from grocery outlet. I 
I'm going to eat some more of my candy bar here. 